previous video, we simulated the nominal design in EMIT to analyze interference. We also identified two mitigation schemes. In this video, we'll implement the first scheme to minimize interference. On wireless electronics devices, interference can come from different sources. It's difficult to keep the signals completely confined to their intended pathways and prevent them from interacting with potential victim receivers, but we do have some control on how we lay out our circuit board structure. Perhaps we can add shielding on the electronic side to better isolate the antenna from EMI. To illustrate, I'll take the nominal board, make changes in the layout, and turn it into this design. Watch the following steps to learn how easy it is to modify a PCB design in HFSS 3D layout. However, a solved version of both the initial and improved boards, named nominal and fence respectively, are available in this project allowing you the flexibility to bypass this step. I'll make an extra copy of this solved nominal design for backup. Set the board's orientation to the top view. In order to make room for the via fence that I'll drop here, I need to move this trace to the left along the x-axis. First select this polygon and delete it. Zoom in to the trace. Snap to object center. Select the trace. When the cursor changes to an X shape, click the trace. This lets me grab the line and drag it closer to this pin. Once the cursor changes to a circle, Click again to connect the trace to this pin. Now we'll move the line to straighten it. Now that we have made room for the fence, let me add the vias. Inserting vias is easy. Just select via from the layout tab and place it on the board. Right click the via and go to draw Duplicate in layer. Place this via below the source. This operation opens the duplicate dialog. Set the X offset to 0 and total count to 9. This value includes the source via. Now let's duplicate this set of vias as shown. This time, set the total count to 3. Place the vias as shown. For additional shielding, let's insert two more vias here. Delete the unneeded vias. Here we will start the simulation, but remember the example has a solved version waiting for you. In the next part, we'll discuss the results.